You're traveling through another dimension. I've just bought this new GoPro on the handlebars. I thought it was 4K, but it's actually turned out to be more like Special K. Guess where I am? <laughs> yes, back in London. I'm on, a, I'm on a bit of a high. I've just come from the gym. When I was in the gym, I was drinking Monster, the energy drink. <laughs> um, what I do is I do um, a split routine. Um, I've just got to enjoy this tunnel. Hang on. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I was on the still stick routine, right? So, woo. Yeah. No oil, no diesel. So, split routine, you do a different body part on each day you go to the gym, right? And today, woohoo! Today I was doing my elbows, yeah, half an hour on the elbow machine. I must say that there's hardly an ounce of fat on um, on my elbows now, but they're not getting any bigger. I haven't been able to bulk them up uh, yet. Uh, but they are they are lovely, well toned el elbows. Um, I'm working on the knee. I'm on the knee machine tomorrow. See what I can do there. I'll flex them knees. So yeah, the idea this year is to be beach ready and not beached well like last year. So it's nice to be back in London. It's quite a low temperature, it's about, uh, about one and a half monkeys, uh, brass monkeys today. Uh, I assume you uh, have the universal uh, temperature measurement scale of monkeys. I don't want that plastic on my exhaust pipes. Oh, that's a bugger when that happens. You, you get plastic wrapped right around your hot exhaust pipes. So doing a few things today. Um, I want to... Uh, Oh, there we are, a bit through there. Yeah. I've got to get some Loctite because I've been buying uh, accessories for bi my bike and I've run out of Loctite. I won. Yeah, there's nothing worse than your nuts dropping off um, on your bike. So I've got to get some blue Loctite. Um, and I fancy having a look at uh, the new American Embassy. Go to the old American Embassy, have a gander, and then I'll show you where the new one, because it um, sounds like Trump is going to drop out of uh, the Donald. He's going to drop out of um, opening it. So um, I think I could uh, qualify for that. Yeah, right. So go down there. The first place I'm going to go to, somewhere new, this place called the Bike Shed. Um, it looks like a super nice place on the um, on their website. They've got their own website, link in the description. So uh, I thought I'd give it a try, you know, because it's quite disappointed with the coffee at the Ace Cafe. Three quid, three quid, and it tasted like dishwater. Ugh. So I'm looking for somewhere else to go. So the place we're going to, uh, the bike shed, is in an area of London called Shoreditch, which is known for being infested by hipsters. In fact, it says on the bike shed website that although uh, a lot of them have beards there, uh, they are not hipsters. Okay, so note that. Although I haven't seen women with beards since I uh, last went to the circus. Oh look, look, you can tell Ray Short it. She's publicly reading a book with no shame and she's wearing a scarf that no doubt she knitted herself from her own pet sheet which she keeps on the uh, flat balcony. She'd definitely be thrown onto a bonfire. I mean the book, not the girl. We haven't had a book burning around here for ages.
Wow, they're all so shiny, those bikes. I feel ashamed I didn't wash my bike before I came down here. Oh, that was good. Interest in the uh, <coughs> price of coffee in these places. That wasn't too bad, right? Um, you go to Pret, £2.35 for a latte. You go to, uh, say, Costas, that's £2.65 for a latte. Uh, at the bike shed, it's uh, if you're a non-member it's uh, two pound ninety and uh, the coffee is brought to you <laughs> it's the only place that brings you the coffee <laughs> it's a bit posh isn't it and uh where else oh the ace cafe i uh, three pound yep three pound so that's the most expensive place the ace cafe cafe i've uh, been for coffee yeah is it cafe or cafe oh no we're not in france are we Oh uh, yeah, so, right, huh. <laughs> that was my first visit to uh, the shed, and uh, that was cool, um, they were so friendly, uh, during the week, right, this is like where I am now, during the week, they were really busy, um, and uh, yeah, I was impressed, they, they were like so friendly, wow, Royal Mail, you see, they can do whatever they, they want. <laughs> okay. Yep. Go on then. You little bags of shit. What have you got there? Don't like sandwiches. Oh, that poor girl. She looks like she's freezing her titties off. No wonder she's cold with those skinny jeans and the rips at the knees. I think you need to take a long, hard look at your life if you buy jeans that are already ripped at the knees. I call them dick-sucking jeans because how else would you uh, wear out the knees of your jeans like that? But she's welcome to jump on the knee training machine if she likes and warm her knees up. Here it is. This is now the old American Embassy in London's Grosvenor Square, Mayfair. The building uh, is a grade two listed building. It's been bought by a Qatar company and they're going to turn it into a hotel. You used to be able to drive right around the square, but uh, since all the terrorist stuff now, they've blocked off that. And look, look at the uh, bollards in the street there. And here's some more bollards here. Quite a lot of security they put in after the terrorism. So we'll head off down uh, south of the river and go and see uh, the new embassy. Huh. Every time I pass that building I expect a speedboat to come crashing out of one of the windows. I don't know why. I don't know what Mr Trump meant, saying it wasn't a very nice area. There it is, headquarters of the Borg. We are the Borg. Lower your shields and surrender your ships. We will add your biological and technological distinctiveness to our own. Your culture will adapt to service us. Resistance is futile. Oh look, there's the moat. Oh, it can't be a moat, there's no duck island on it. Perhaps the moat is uh, for the waterboarding. Yes, I would bring back waterboarding and I'd make it a hell of a lot worse. Okay, it's time I head off and got my lock tight now.
Yeah, Loctite. Loctite, yeah. It's not in motorcycle maintenance then. Pardon? Not in motorcycle maintenance. No, no, no. No? no? Oh, okay. It's just in our general like blues and stuff like that. Oh. Fred, yeah? Blue? Fred? Blue. Fred? Blue. Fred? Blue. Fred? Blue. Yeah, blue. Blue. Yeah. Yeah, that's tough. Thanks ever so much. No problem, mate. Well, thanks for watching all this. Um, I hope you like it. Give us a like if you liked it. And what do you think? I loved it. We had some fun. I had a great time. And, uh, you know, I'm very happy with the results. It was terrific.